today we'll be opening this very old Penfolds Grange Hermitage from 1983. Might open it. That's it then. Hi, I'm Jo, this is Maximo, and we are Tibbles and Treats. Today, something a bit special. Very, very special. And it's a wine. It is. We don't do too many wines. We've been to a few wineries, but we don't yeah. do too many wines. No. So uh, I've gone into the dark recesses of my wine fridge that's located in my garage, and I've recently had a milestone birthday. A very special birthday. My lips are sealed. And we thought, why not celebrate it by opening something oh. very special? So, what, how long have you had this? Oh, we ha haven't said what it is yet. No. What it, is it? It is a 1983 Penfolds Grange Hermitage. And when did you acquire this? It's it's hard to say. I, I think sometime it, after that date, clearly. Yeah, clear, clearly after 1983. Uh, I think it was around about 1989, perhaps 1990, mm -hmm. around that sort of uh, time frame. I didn't actually buy this. This mm -hmm. was gifted to me as as part of a housewarming uh, housewarming present. All those years ago, nearly you know mm. thirty something years ago. And you didn't warm the house. You saved it. I did save it, and I've saved it for a very, very, mm. very long time. Mm. Uh, it's been uh, cellared, I hope, reasonably well. Um, it's been it's been in, in dark cupboards. No, it's no, it's, it's got, got a bit of sediment showing. A lot of sediment. Mm. Um, so, so I think it's been it's been sort of kept away from light. Mm. Uh, it's been. Um, um, in cupboards under stairs, mm. uh, and last couple of years uh, in a wine fridge. So yeah. I'm, I'm hoping... It's moved around a little. It has. And uh, we did have some debate about whether you should sell it or open it. Yes, there was a bit of debate because I think um, for, for this particular bottle, they are available um, at certain um, prestige wine stores and also um, certain auction sites. And the prices range between five hundred dollars and eight hundred and fifty dollars. Wow! Incidentally, uh, the the last vintage of uh, uh, Grange is the two thousand and eighteen vin vintage, and that retails for around about a thousand dollars. So I think it's quite interesting that you can get a, a very very old vintage for less than you can get the most current I guess. vintage. Each vintage is a little different and the quality is assessed. Well, I, I think it's because there, there, there may be some risk. I mean, there's no guarantees that we'll no. open this and it's, it's going to be drinkable. No. Um, I don't think there's, you know, the, the cork looks a little bit indented. Um, it doesn't look like there's had any oxidation. So I'm hoping it's going to be a really nice drop, but it could be vinegar. We don't know. It could be vinegar. It's... Mm. Now, 1983 was a vintage. It was bottled in 1985, um, and you know it's it's a long time. And I think um, the the corks have always been sort of the weak part of a a, a very old bottle mm. of, of wine. So mm. we'll just have so, to. Um, um, what are we going to do? We're going to open it and decant we, it. We will now. Just a little bit about this mm. before we do that. Penfolds uh, Grange is probably one of the um, Australia's m most well-known uh, bottle of, uh, um, of wine um, and Shiraz. It uh, began its life in, in the early 1950s uh, and it's been sort of well, uh, world re renowned and won countless um, mm -hmm. gold medals in, in many, many wine competitions. 
So hermit, this is a Grange Hermitage, and Hermitage isn't a grape, but it's a region um, in the Rhone Valley of France. Mm -hmm. So red Hermitage wines are made from uh, Syrah. Now, Shiraz is another word for Syrah. So it's the, it's the old sort of French okay. word for, for Shiraz. So because this is uh, the appellation or the, or the region of northern France, clearly Penfolds had to drop the name Hermitage. So they, they dropped the name Hermitage in around about 1990. So this is a very old bottle right. that's labelled Grange Hermitage, but because it's not from see, France... A bit like you can't call Champagne... Champagne. Champagne, unless it's from Champagne. Or Cognac, Cognac, unless it's from Cognac. Or Armanac, Armanac. Okay, yeah, we, we, we get, get the, the point. Idea. Okay. So, yeah, so uh, this, this particular um, um, year was the earliest harvest on record for Grange. Mm. Um, it was also um, characterised by bushfires um, of that year, followed by floods. So you had all sorts of things happening mm. uh, for, for that particular for that particular vintage. Mm -hmm. It's around about uh, ninety four percent Shiraz and six percent Cabernet Sauvignon. So it's primarily Shiraz, mm -hmm. but it's got a little bit of that Cap Sav uh, in there. It's got quite a low pH for for Grange, mm -hmm. and um, there's a fair bit of acid in there. So the tasting notes from, um, from what I read from a review in 2002, which was, well, 20 years ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, show that the vintage had considerable tannin in its flavours, but was powerful, rich, uh, and mm. high in acid. So that was 20 years ago, and it did suggest that further um, uh, cellaring would, would improve it. So 20 years has passed since that review. Interesting. Um, yes, so let's. Uh, I'm a bit nervous. This is the most expensive thing uh, I've opened. Um, yeah. I mean, I, well, it's not expensive at all because I didn't actually pay for it. It's still. It's but it's value. A, it's an opportunity cost. I so, think. So it. let's let's open this, shall we? Yes. Right. I have a special implement. Yes. Just for the job. All right. That's done. Ooh. Oh, looks good. It does look good, doesn't it? Looks intact. Don't it think does. you can see that from here, but... No. That looks very, very good. It looks like the cork has gone down a bit. It does, but it looks as new. It does. Okay. Are you ready to do this? Uh, I think so. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. I've, I've got a, a good quality corkscrew and let's hope it works. Mm. Mm. Resistance. Oh, it's breaking, it's breaking. It's breaking. It's 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 not it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. No. 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 Mm. Wow. Wow. That's messed that up. Mm. I can smell though. Do you think? I don't think any cork fell in. I, I, I don't think so. Um, we might go to plan B, which is the my emergency the, uh, the other opener. Yeah. The fancy thing. The other fancy thing that I, I haven't um, okay. I haven't used before, but mm. no. we'll have to give it a go. Yes, mm. plan B. Plan B. I've got this special... That goes, let me, let me try. De decorker. Um, I think you, you've got more well, of a delicate touch. I believe it goes on the, the between the cork and the, the bottle. Well, where else would it go? Uh, carry I'm on. I'm not going to stab the cork with it, am I? Oh, I think you might be stabbing me with it soon. <laughs> well, it's going in. It's going in. How does it pull it out? I think you twist. Okay. I think it needs to go in. Oh, oh it's coming oh, it's out. Coming out. Well, that was amazingly 
I won't say it's yet because it's not out yet. It's not out yet. It's, it's, I've got a, a pile of cork here. Ooh. Oh, that's... Ooh. Oh. That's the top half of the cork. Mm. I think the, we've the, got a... I think we'll definitely be straining this one. Uh, I, well, <laughs> we'll have to be, yes. Oh, look oh at that mess. goodness. What a, what a disaster. You just don't know what you're going to get with this, so do you? You don't, and that's why. I mean... and that's why. Tell no. us, was there a better way to do this? If I was to pay $800 for this at auction. And, did, did, and did you Google how to do this? Open old bottle? No. 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 But, but I've got my special tool that... Mm. Does, it, does it need to, to it go... It is just like dust in there. Does it need to go like further in? Perhaps? Look. I oh, know, it's, it's like, yeah feel like it's a delicate operation. Yeah. Don't blame me if the oh, cork moved downwards. Hmm. Cork is going to go in. Well, I think, I think it will go in and we'll have to yeah. strain uh, uh, it, I think. It's like, it's like that thing, that game you play, operation, where you're pulling the bones out. Bones out of what? It's a game. Right. Operation? Um, the scale of, no? No, it must have been an English thing. No, I don't think so. Oh, goodness. I feel like I'm, I'd probably do a better job of this. <gasps> there it well, it's is. It's gone in. It has gone in. Yep. Wow. Goodness. We, I feel uh, like we've really stuffed this up. I'm we not, have. We're not drinking that straight like that. No mm. way. No. We, we will have to add our, have add to our come back. leisure. Yes. Um, or the cork's in. The cork's in. We, we might have to decant we'll, uh, this. We'll decant this. And, and strain. perhaps strain it. Because we'll strain come it. back yeah. once we've had a little think about this. We will. Hopefully in freshly decanted wine. Let's hope so. See you in a minute. Indeed. Well... We are back. We're back. We've rescued the wine from yes. the bottle. Um, there's, you probably can't see no. this, but there's part of a cork still in yeah. the bottle. And there's a good bit of sediment, but... Um, a fair bit of sediment. It looked pretty clear, didn't it? Does. It does. It yes. looked pretty clear um, we, as we, we were we did, it. Uh, we didn't filter it with paper. We filtered it with a tea strainer, I guess. Classy. And I think it got rid of most oh, of the yeah, yeah, um, yeah. the cork. Yeah. So it's been it's been decanted for about an yep. hour now. It's had a little time to breathe. It has. Should be at its peak. Let's hope so. If there is a peak. If there is a peak. Yes. There's only one way to find out. There is. Uh, you can pour because it's, well, I can pour. It's like your baby. That's enough, that's enough. It's really quite um, an intense colour, isn't it? Oh, so you're losing some on the table. I did. Oh dear. Oh, you're making a mess. I'm making a mess. Um, I'll, 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 I'll be back. <laughs> okay. So the mess is cleaned up and here goes nothing. Look at the colour. It's, it's quite a it's so intense colour. It's sort of a brownie it's red, isn't sort it? Sort of. Yeah, it's a little bit of brown there. There is. Is brown good? Well, uh, there's certainly a uh, there is a ruby ruby colour there. There's there's no doubt mm. about that. But it's mm. sort of a red, red, reddy brown. It, it smells quite nice, doesn't it? It smells quite different. It does. I would say to a normal a regular Shiraz. Shiraz. It certainly doesn't smell vinegary, vinegary or no. anything like that, no. considering the state of the, the cork. Yeah. But you know what? The, the top of the cork was intact. It was. It was the bottom was just very soft. Very I don't soft. I don't think anyone would crumbly. have been able to get that out in one no, place. No, I don't think so. Mm. It's actually quite nice. It's it's I really don't, I don't know, I'm scared to drink it. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, you I go think, first. Yeah. Quite nice. I'm, 
I, I'm not really sure. We've, we've got to do this justice. The, So let's give this a, a go, shall we? The suspense. Not loving it, are you? It hasn't gone off. It hasn't been corked or no. anything. I'm not sure. I'm oh not, my god! I'm not sure. <laughs> Is that yeah. all you've got to it's, say? It's certainly drinkable. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to have another another sip before uh, I comment. I'll, you I'll, have a go. I'll go. It's still. It's it's quite tanniny. Tanniny. Still. It is. After four, nearly forty years. There's still tannins. Yeah, there are. How does that happen? I don't know. It must have been such an intensely uh, strong mm. vintage. It's yeah. it's quite acidic too. It's just like, uh, as per the tasting yes, notes. Yes, it is a little bit acidic. It's, it's still acidic. There's, yep. I mean, you can see that there's a lot of tannins have uh, fallen out of the, the wine, but... You know, Penfolds do have a uh, recorking service, so they they um, uh, remove the the corks um, if there's been any. Uh, they taste the wine to see whether it's still uh, in good quality and replace the cork, and uh, that would probably get another maybe ten or twenty years out of this. But it's um, it, it's certainly not. It's nice. It's it's, it's dry. It's quite dry. Quite it's quite tannin. dry. Yes. Um, Still, it doesn't taste like the alcohol percentage is high. It, it's it almost doesn't. like a. Um, well, that's because uh, for this particular vintage, the alcohol was only twelve point nine percent. So I think a lot of the Shiraz are um, around fourteen and a half to fifteen percent. Mm. So it's would probably. You, would you detect that? It just doesn't feel. Like, like a typical Shiraz that no, we've had. No, no, no. It's dry. It's sort of, the finish is sort of um, on Ca the side like, of the tongue and a bit tarty. It's acidic. It's acidic and, and a little bit tarty. I, it's not it, severely it, tarty. To me, it's like a taste of cherries. I th cherries, yes. Yeah, that's the, yeah. As the acidic. A, a, ta a, tart. A, a, a tart sort yeah. of cherry. Yeah. I mean... You can still smell the fruit um, in the wine. I think the, the fruit's still there. Um, uh, this is, it's still intense. It's still quite uh, expressive and in your face. And um, it's, um, quite it's, it's a big, it's, it's a big it's wine. A, it's, it's a it's big, big wine. Quite amazing to think that it's um, 1983. Not, not, it's, not, far, not far off, 40 years. 39 years. Yeah, not since it went into the bottle, though. No, but, yeah. or 30, 37 years yep. since it's been bottled. Mm. So it's been quite a while and, um, mm. you know, yeah, that hasn't, hasn't really got sort of legs on this, has it? No. Well, at least it hasn't gone off. Yes. Which, you know, with, with a wine of that age, there's always that chance that um, mm -hmm. it's going to be... Quite, yes. quite awful. So, what, what were you expecting? Is this enjoyable or a disappointment? Or how do you feel about opening it now? Well, once it's open, you can't like... Well, uh, of course. <laughs> you can't sort of take it back. Um, I, had a, um, I had a Grange probably around about 15 years ago that um, a good friend shared, shared with us. Um, and for all the hype and all that, I thought um, it probably wasn't as old as this. This was probably a, a, maybe a 20-year-old um, bottle. And I was a, a little bit underwhelmed. I thought it was a mm -hmm. nice bottle, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, for, for five or $600, you could probably buy um, a dozen bottles of, of something that's, that's close to it, not quite yep. there, but, you know, it hasn't... Okay. It, that didn't blow me away. I think yes. this hasn't blown me away. Yeah. 
Um, it's certainly nice. I'm, I'm really happy that it's it's drinkable. M yeah. Maybe um, we'll, uh, we might sort of savour the rest of this and, and, and let it breathe a bit more mm -hmm. and see whether that does anything to the... Um, mm to the to the flavors but um you yeah. know I, I'd, I'd give this pretty high marks mm -hmm. um i, would, I think it's a bit an interesting experience. interesting i wouldn't say this is the best bottle of wine that i've no. ever had no um it's it certainly um i guess the the most expensive and probably the the most unique mm. wine i've ever had and it's certainly been one of the most uh uh uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? It's been the most uh, anticipated and anticipated and uh, sought after wine, I think, from from a lot of collectors. Oh, yeah, not yeah, not especially this vintage, but in general. Mm. Mm. I mean, it, it does it's, smell nice. Maybe it's just uh, the idea of it that people like, rather than the actual wine. It's got a very long finish. I've had, mm. had some more mm. and it's sort of, it's starting to build a little build and grow on me. Mm. I mm. think I can still taste it in my mouth. Yes. It's, mm. it's, it's an intense flavor. Mm. It's, um, yes, it's quite acidic, quite acidic. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been interesting. It has. Mm. Well, that's it. After, that, that, that's it. After a debate for quite a long time. Yes. Um, it's done. It was going to be my, my milestone birthday 10 years ago, and um, that didn't happen. So my next milestone birthday, we thought, mm -hmm. why not? Let's yep. do it. Mm -hmm. So this has been interesting. It's been mm. a bit fraught. <laughs> uh, it's been a bit challenging. How could anyone know how the cork's going to react? That's, that's right. It's, it's, yeah. I, I thought once the cork was uh, crumbled like that, the wine would be, uh, excuse me, un undrinkable, uh, but no. it certainly wasn't. No. I mean, that. that. let's face it, the wine has been in contact with the cork anyway. Yes, just by it's, it's been lying down. To me, from a logical point of view, doesn't mean just because the cork fell in that it's ruined no yeah I, I don't think anyone could have got that out the top of the cork was so firm but the bottom was like it was like almost crumble yeah <laughs> it was like mm. sand or almost indeed. anyway so that's been a that's been a very interesting uh review hasn't it bit different not not quite what i expected no but uh, enjoyable but also different yeah Interesting is the best way to describe it, which can mean many things. Indeed. So uh, I hope you've liked this video. If so, please do hit the like and subscribe mm. buttons. Let us know if you've got a bottle of Grange mm. in your cellar. And whether <laughs> you're going to be tempted to open it or not. Yes. Let us know what you think if you do or if you're going to sell it like we could have. We could have, but we didn't. Mm -hmm. And here we are. So we've got the rest of this to mm, savour. We do. And on that very interesting note <laughs> and pleasing, mm -hmm. cheers, Joe. Cheers. And happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. Hey, it's Maximo again, and I thought I'd do a bit of an addendum to our, to our review. Now, this Grange Hermitage has been open for, for almost three hours now, and I must say that the qualities of the wine have, have changed a little bit. Um, the, 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 the nose is, I think, more appealing. I'm not sure how. Maybe it just... It, 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 the nose is a lot better, and the taste has smoothened right out. It, it tastes a little bit less tanniny. It tastes a little bit less acidic, and it's a lot smoother. This is more of what I thought the Grange would be, and I guess we were 
perhaps too eager to sample and review uh, the wine. It probably needed at least a couple of hours decanting. And it's actually changed the wine quite significantly. Like I'm quite surprised at how much smoother and more enjoyable that it is. So I just thought I'd add this addendum to the video and I must admit, I am really enjoying this. So on that addendum note, cheers.